Hiya, and welcome back to Tennis Ace, the game that teaches us that, Saya-chan, you are the father. Anyways, let's just hop right in. What was that? Nothing. I agreed with you. I blink a few times, staring dumbly at the hare's face. Every now and again, I catch him doing this exact same thing, mumbling incoherently when people say things to him. I can never quite get what he's saying, but I always get the feeling it's not exactly very kind things. So you're actually going to waste your time off and try to study? Hiya. Do you have to frame it as if it was a bad thing? I feel judged. I do, and I am totally judging you. Whatever. Can I use the desk in your room to study for a bit? Sure, I can help you. What? Help me? I thought you didn't want any part of it. I mean, don't take me wrong. I still find the idea super boring. But at least, but at the same time, I have nothing better to do. And I, and I might, and I feel it might be at least a little fun if I help you study. I mean, I've been tutoring June lately, so it's pretty funny to see him getting worked up over stuff. Especially math. Man, he's really terrible at math. I wonder if I'll be able to see another cute side of Kaycoon by doing this. Hiya. No, I don't need you to help me. Come on! Uh, I might be a lazy bum, but I'm at least decent at this. Besides, I'm your senior. I've seen all the things you're studying already. And that's not the issue. I Nope, I don't care. Come on, I'm gonna help you study. Ah, fuck. Ah, ah. I need to get unstuck for a second. What, Yuichi-san? I grabbed the stubborn hair by his wrist, dragging him up the stairs, kicking and screaming towards my room. Once we're inside, I turn on the lights, pulling up a seat for Keikun on my desk. Come on, stop pouting. It's no big deal. I'm not pouting, I'm huffing. There's a difference. To be honest, I don't really care either way. You're such a pain sometimes. Yep, but I'm also your friend, so you should indulge me sometimes. Indulge you, huh? Come on! Uh, put your books out already. Show me what you're having trouble with. Keikun clutches his bag a little tighter, looking away from me. I already told you there's no need. I'm fine studying by myself. Jeez, Keikun! Will you stop being such a stubborn mule and show me your books already? We don't have all day! Uh. Hiya. S stubborn mule? Why do I get the feeling that I'm being insulted here? And not important, just whip at your books already! God damn it, you're really insistent, aren't you? Fine, just don't say I didn't want you. Huh? The hair sighs deeply, as if the whole thing is a big annoyance to him. He pulls out a couple of standard issue school notebooks, some pretty familiar textbooks, and... Wait, what are these? I've never seen these books before. <laughs> go, go ahead. Go ahead. I grab a few hardback books that look totally unfamiliar to me. I rifle around a few pages, trying to see what they are about, and... Wait! What the hell is this stuff? I've never seen it before! Uh... There's a math I've never seen before, and... Is this another language? Uh, I told you I didn't need help. I'm doing just fine with my general studies. I was going gonna focus on more advanced stuff. Hiya. Seriously, what on earth is this? Uh, college grade math? Uh, it's mechatronics, actually. While I don't like the idea of inheriting the company, it is still a possibility. If I... It is still a possibility if I fail to make it as a tennis player. In that case, I refuse to do it half-heartedly. So, you're studying up on something you don't even like in case you're forced to do something you don't even want to do? Okay. Okay. I mean, my, my, uh, my, my laptop volume is at, like, I have, like, headphones plugged in and my laptop volume is down to, like, 24. I'm, I'm at 24% volume. Because that's just what I stick with. Well, to be perfectly honest, I find the subject to be fascinating. I just don't want to have to study it in the circumstances that I'm studying it. But if I do happen to end up working for the company and then becoming the CEO after graduation, I want to be sure I'm prepared to be the best job possible. 
Wow. I'm surprised you can go through so much work trying to prepare for that when it's something you're you're actively trying to avoid doing. Just because I don't want to do it doesn't mean I get a pass to do a crappy job at it. If I have to do it, then I should do my best at to do it well. <laughs> That's really like you. You know, I always envied that about you. That? What do you mean? Your work ethic. No matter what it is, you always try your best at everything you do. I just can't bring myself to be that serious about everything. Just looking at you go sometimes is really exhausting. Uh, still, I really admire that about you. Iyuichi-san. Keikun shifts a few times on his seat, looking away from me. Oh no, have I accidentally made the mood a bit awkward here? Um, hey, why don't you explain a bit of this mechatronics thing to me? It's mechatronics. And since when do you have an interest in this kind of stuff? I don't, not really, but you're pretty knowledge about it, right? I want to hear you sounding smart. It's pretty fun to see. Are, are you making fun of me? Nope, I'm being 100% honest. Hiya. Wait. My brain died for a second. In that case, you're really weird. It sounds about right. Anyway, explain it to me, please. Uh, all right, just don't complain if it bores you out of your mind. No way that's going to happen. You have my full undivided attention. Wait. Hang on. No way that's going to happen. You have my full undivided attention. Period. This is precisely why I should not be allowed to do the material girl voice. <laughs> we'll see about that. I wake up to the sound of rain outside. My eyes feel very heavy at first, and even then, I, and even though I can feel the fog of grogginess lifting from my mind, I still choose to keep them closed for a few minutes. Then, as my body begins to regain further consciousness, I blink a few times. Turning my head on whatever hard surface I seem to have fallen asleep on, I see a figure sitting next to me. I see a mound of white fur wearing a skull jacket thoroughly immersed on a really difficult looking book. At least judging from the fact that I can't read a, read a single word that is on the cover. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm gonna do that real quick, I'm gonna do that real quick. Hiya, betches, and welcome back to Tennis A's, where the game teaches us that Victor and Shoichi are both pregnant, and that Saiyachan is the father. Congratulations! This is precisely why I should not be allowed to do Material Girl. This is precisely why. It's just from the fact that I can't read a single word that is on the cover. Then, as my as I move my head a little further, he seems to have finally noticed me moving. Ah, Yuichi-san, you're awake. Still holding up his book, he looks at me from the corner of his eyes without really turning his head away from this book. Awake? Did I... When did I fall asleep? Uh, the hair smiles warmly, looking down at me with a hint of amusement on his face. After about 15 minutes of me explaining mechatronics to you, I have to say... While I expected you to get bored, I didn't think you'd totally conk out. S sorry uh, Don't be. I didn't mind. You looked really peaceful sleeping, and listening to your breathing helped me to relax, too. It's still gonna be censored. Alright, as soon as it's like 10, 10 p.m., I'm putting Material Girl away. I notice that he's no longer wearing the earbuds as before. That's odd. I can still hear the rain going outside just as much as it was before. Oh, what about your headphones? It's all right. There hasn't been any thunder in a while. I took them out so I could hear you breathe. Like I said, it was really relaxing. No offense, but that's kind of a creepy thing to say. It, it is? S sorry. Ha! You care about the weirdest things, K-Coon. You're laughing? Did I say something amusing? No, it's just that only k -Kun can be so much like k -Kun. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? That I like you the way you are. You're pretty easy to get along with once people get to know you. All right, I'm putting Material Girl away. I'm, I'm, I, I put it away. I put it away. 
I don't know if that's supposed to be a good thing. Of course it is. You don't have to try and analyze every little thing that I say for implications. Although I know you'll do it nonetheless because that's just the kind of thing you do. <laughs> oh god. I see. What are you up to now? That's a different book from before, isn't it? Yeah, I finished with that subject a while ago. I'm studying a bit about foreign economics. The book is in Spanish, so you might have a hard time reading it. You can speak Spanish? I don't remember that being a list of languages you told us about a while ago. It's pretty awesome. Hardly. I've been trying to pick it up, but I'm still pretty slow at it. Like I said, the only ones I have any confidence in are English and French. With everything else, I just know the basics. I've been studying this particular book for a little over two weeks, and I haven't gotten even halfway through it yet. Isn't that really boring and difficult? It difficult, maybe, but definitely not boring, though. Is it weird that I enjoy reading up on this stuff? Languages, I mean. I find it really fun to learn how to communicate with new people. This coming from the guy who barely speaks to anyone outside of our group. The same can be said about you, you know. I know, but at the same time, I don't talk about how incredible it is to learn to communicate. It's just like you to make fun of me for the things I like. Hey, I might tease you every now and again, but it comes from a place of love. Okay, okay, I will say hiya bitches for the next after class part. That That's coming in a couple weeks. Like, as soon as it updates, as soon as after class updates, I will, I will do that. Actually... Fuck, we could actually be having, like, an after-class stream right now. Because, like, the, the whatchacallit. Because, like, there, there's, still, there's still the stories. The after-class side stories. There's still those. But, no. I I, I, I simply have to do the, uh, hi, bitches intro. I, I simply have to now. Actually, maybe not. Wait, yeah, I'm, I'm going to. Oh, really? So you love me now? Of course I do! Isn't that obvious? I uh, didn't expect you to answer like that. There's nothing wrong with admitting your love, you love your friends. Uh, right, it's that kind of love. Did you say something? Uh, just muttering to myself about this book. You should probably go back to sleep. You seem tired. Nah, I didn't plan on sleeping in the first place. Plus, it's impolite to do it with guests over. I just showed up out of nowhere and stuck around. You don't have to fuss over me too much. I don't have to, but I choose to. <laughs> Thanks. By the way, how long was I out for? About an hour and a half. Seriously, that long? Yep, it really surprised me. I was running a few minutes ago just how long you'd be able to sleep. Uh, that's kind of embarrassing. Oh yeah, you should definitely be embarrassed. You're teasing me now? Yep, it's one of my favorite hobbies lately. You're a little shit, you know that? <laughs> Kakun closes the book he's been reading, putting it down on the table and getting up from his seat. The hair stretches a few times, grunting. I see his shirt lifting up slightly and get a good glimpse of the well-toned muscle underneath. Oh, not gonna read anymore? Nah, I've gotten enough studying done for now. I'd rather us do something together that doesn't, that doesn't cause you to pass out. I want to say that that's unnecessary, but you're probably right. Perhaps Akiyoshi Kun is already done with his homework. The three of us could do something together, couldn't we? Knowing Aki, I doubt he'd be. We can still check anyway. It's not even 10 a.m. yet, so he's probably going to be holed up in his room for a while more. How someone that's my flesh and blood could be so damn different from me, I still can't understand. Nah, nah. Yuichi didn't get friend-zoned. Keisuke got friend-zoned. Oh, well, whatever. Let's just go downstairs before you fall asleep again. <laughs> Probably for the best. We walk down the stairs, stopping to knock on Aki's door and getting no response. When we go back to the living room, the two of us see him sitting on the couch with his phone on hand. Oh, Aki. We thought you'd still be... He thought she'd still be studying. Without lifting his eyes from the tiny screen, my little brother responds in monotone. I was until a few minutes ago, but people started messaging me on my phone and I gave up. Oh, really? Who are you talking to right now? One of your classmates? Hitoka-chan. Hitoka? What's she doing talking to you? We talk every day, you know. You're not the only one who's friends with those two. Mm, fair enough. I know I've only met her once, but that girl scares me. 
That's when Aki looks up from his phone, looking at the hair with a frown. He looks almost offended. Hitoka-chan isn't scary! N no, I don't mean that she's literally scary. Just, she kind of reminds me of a younger Mizuguchi-san. She's also kind of mean-spirited. Hitoka-chan isn't mean-spirited! She's wonderful! Oh my god! I have a theory! Time to rip off MatPat! Hello, Internet! And welcome to Game Theory! The theory... ...is that Akiyoshi has a crush on Hitoka. All that, just for that. <laughs> oh boy, Aki is getting more and more intense and even making Keikun shrink where he stands. Okay, okay, Aki, calm down, we get it. You have a major crush on Hitoka. W what? I, I don't! Nah, nah. Okay, so like... No, no, okay. If we go but actually, I... Hang on, hang on. Let's go by standard math. Let's let's do some math. We're going to do some math, all right? Hello, internet, and welcome back to game theory. All right, let, let's do some math. Okay, so um we can confirm that he that Akiyoshi is 12 and a half. Okay, so um standard Japanese freshman age and we can find out all right, all right, all right, all right. High schools in Japan provide a three-year education for students, which starts when they're 16 years old and at lasts until the age of 18. All right, so Hitoka is 16. Hitoka is, I believe, 16, and Akiyoshi is 12 and a half. Iyuichi-san, that's kind of going too far with teasing. What? I'm just joking. I didn't mean anything by it. Teasing people over who they like is a bit... Till he, t till he took a chan, I said hi, okay? Aki shoots me an unfriendly glare before typing something away on his phone. Done! Anything else you want? No, I'm fine. Hey, since we're going to be home today anyway, how about I make lunch for us? We can leave our lunch boxes for school tomorrow. Sure, knock yourself out. Want to help me out? Nope. Damn. Aki ignores me, continuing to type away on his phone. Come on, Aki. You have to learn to cook at some point. You're going to be a teen soon. I don't see you getting on Shoichi in his case about not knowing how to cook. Well, Shoichi is an exception. I wouldn't want to be the one trying to teach him to cook since I'd likely end up dead. I want to say that's a cruel thing to say, but it's probably true. Still, I'm not interested. Keikun, help me out here. Tell him he should learn how to cook. Oh, uh, yeah, you should probably do that. What's with the unenthusiastic response? You can't just ask me to do something out of the blue and expect me to do it a certain way. Lame. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick to my phone. Thank you very much. Have fun making lunch. Hi, and welcome back to Tennis Ace, the game that teaches us that Akiyoshi's a little shit. He is a little shit. Like, he has no chill whatsoever. Like, he's over here, just sitting on the couch. He's over here, just sitting on the couch, on his phone, texting Hitoka-chan. Just like, just like, I, I swear to God, I swear to God, if Akiyoshi ever goes through an emo phase. Fuck! Now I gotta make it. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on! Yes, it's yes, it's basically confirmed. Akiyoshi gets all the bitches. He gets all the bitches, but no! No! Just wait! Just wait! I'm going to do something absolutely horrifying. You just just wait for a second. Just genuinely horrifying. I gotta find it first. 
all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let me just shrink that down. <laughs> oh god this is horrifying hang on can i like move it up a bit so that way just his eye is showing there we go there we go now i gotta move it below the chat box and there we go it's not a phase yuichi god yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to my phone. Thank you very much. Having fun making lunch. Sometimes I regret doting on him so much. Little shit barely has any respect for me at this point. Well, Keiko, I think it's just gonna be you and me. Doing what? Making lunch, of course. Uh, what? I have to help out? It'd be faster that way. I'm still. It's still not even 10 a.m. Why do you need lunch this early? What? Don't ever think it. But, but... Keisuke-san, you should just go along with him. Otherwise, he's gonna bug you until he do you do what he wants. This coming from the one who never does what I ask him to do. I do too. Just not this time. <laughs> the amount of sass. The pure amount of sass that is coming from him. Mm-hmm, sure. I don't know about this. Come on, cooking is fun! It'll be a nice way to spend time. I have my doubts about that. You don't have to seem so unenthusiastic about it, you know. How come people never seem to go along with what I want? So annoying. Pretty please? <laughs> oh god! I take a step closer to the hair, trying to give him my best puppy dog eyes. Alright, alright, you don't have to look at me like that. Wow, that worked better than I expected. Great! Alright, no more emo Aki. <laughs> I grab Keikun by the wrist and drag him with me to the kitchen. But not this again! Come on, Keikun, you have to learn to let loose sometimes. I would hardly refer to this to cooking as letting loose. Close enough! I open our fridge, peering at the things we have inside. <laughs> Where's the eye bleach? Okay. I'm worried because I don't want to start talking in an oo-woo voice. And I have a feeling that with whenever the eye bleach is up, I accidentally start talking in an oo-woo voice. Like, instead of, I open our fridge, peering at the things we have inside, I get... I opened a fridge, peering at the things we have inside. Like, like... Like, I, I don't want to start talking in an oo-woo voice. You can never unsee emo Aki. <laughs> You can never unsee it. <laughs> Teenager scared the living shit out of me. Wino, Wino. Wait, no. It, he would be listening to... I've become so numb. Actually, what are the lyrics to that? Because I, I kind of want to sing it now. I kind of want to sing it now. Um, Numb. Linkin Park lyrics. Alright. I'm tired of being what you want me to be. Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. Don't know what you're expecting of me. Put under the pressure of walking in your shoes. Every step that I take is another mistake to you. Oh god. I've become so numb, I can't feel you there. Become so tired, so much more over. I'm becoming this I want to do, is be more like me and be less like you. Can't you see the... Oh god, this lyric... This lyric, I can imagine Aki singing his heart out to just, hang on, hang on, hang on. L let's, let's leave the purity boys. <laughs> alright, 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 I'm, I'm gonna make something real quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make something real quick. 
And and I, I simply have to make it. Alright, so I'm going to move the emo hair back up. This is precisely why I should not be allowed to do that. You're going to go far, can Justin, with the thousand. I don't know the words. But I used to jam out to it. I used to jam out to you're going to go far, kid. Hang on, hang on. Um, um, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um. Oh, man, I love getting sidetracked. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, okay. Um, uh, sprites. Aki. Pose. Let me, let me zoom in a bit. So that way I can just like uh go from here. Um sort by name. Used to jam out to Lincoln Park. Oh, when I was when I was growing up. When I was growing up, I'm I'm gonna tell you a little story while I while I do this. When I was growing up Oh wait, he would be an all black. He'd be an all black. Emo Aki would be an all black. Okay, but no. While while I was while I was growing up, um my family, they listened to a lot of like uh like Linkin Park. Um like there you go. Uh Linkin Park, ACDC, Metallica. I don't know. I never really paid attention to it and I don't really listen to it anymore. But, like, my older brother and my mom, they would, like, listen to that, like, all the time. Hang on, can, can I find a good Akiyoshi face? Alright, neutral. Neutral! Ha-ha! I've become so numb, I can't hear you now. I don't know the words. Alright, 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 we got, we got Aki in the corner right there. Ah, get back in the corner! Get back in the corner! Am I... Fuck! Overshooting it! God damn it! Hang on! Hang on! Yes, but no, hang on. Hang on. You, 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 should, you should already know what I'm doing. You should already know what I'm doing by now. Hang on, I can, like, close that. I don't know, I only listen to, like, two songs from Linkin Park. Like, a uh, Numb and, uh, that other song... That's like a, I, I, I'm trying to remember what it was. This one other Linkin Park song. In the end. In the end. Alright. Um, there we go. Alright, that's about as good as it's gonna get. But no. This, this lyric. This lyric just judges it. Just like, is the entire... Can't you see that you're smothering me? Holding too tightly. Afraid to lose control. Because everything that you thought I would be has fallen apart right in front of you. <laughs> ah! Ah! All right, all right. I'm pu I'm putting my phone away. I'm putting my phone away. It is it is on my bed. All right, all right. Um, let me just close. Get rid of emo Aki. <laughs> thank you for coming to my uh to my to my concert. Thank you, thank you. Since I'm the one in charge of keeping our groceries stocked, I already have a pretty good idea of what we have available. Still, I prefer to confirm I have everything I need before I get started. It can lead to pretty annoying moments later when you realize you're missing one key ingredient you need to make your meal. Okay, do we want to make beef stew, curry, or katsudon? <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to pull up the purity boys. I'm going to pull up the eye bleach. <laughs> We're just going to leave them there for a while. We're just going to leave them there. We're making curry? Okay. Wait, what does K like? Character. Uh, uh, list. List, uh, Keisuke. 
likes tennis. That's his favorite meal, tennis. What did Kekun like? Uh Uh fuck, what what did let's just go with curry. Mm, tennis soup. I think curry would be a good option. I remember Kekun mentioning a while ago that he really liked it. It was curry! Since he's staying over until the rain passes, I might as well do something nice for him. Alright, I've decided on what I'm gonna make. What's that? Can you include can I include Merwin in the cute squad? Oh, no. Oh my god, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Hi, and welcome. Oh, what's that? Curry. C curry? Yeah, I remember you mentioning you loved curry a while ago. Don't remember one, though. I you don't have to go through that trouble just to make something for me. It's not any trouble. Besides, everyone in the house likes curry too, so it's not like it'll be a problem. Besides, even if you're doing better, I know you're still anxious about the rain. Let me pamper you a bit. Thanks. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm like looking at the uh, at the at the at the stream at like the stream manager thing manager. Management. Eh! All right, all right. Let me let me pull it up. Uh, display capture. So you can all sort of see what I'm looking at. Um, right, right there. It's behind the uh, chat box. Thanks. Now let me think of something you can do to help. I should probably avoid giving him anything that involves handling sharp objects. You might be doing fine now, but I don't need a hare jumping around the kitchen with a knife if there's thunder again. Yeah, because I use light mode. I know, I know, I'm a horrible person. I use light mode. I literally use light mode on, like, everything that I own. Like, my laptop, light mode. My phone, light mode. My PlayStation does not have light mode. My Nintendo Switch, light mode. <laughs> I know I'm awful because I use light mode. I just prefer light mode over dark mode. I used to I used to love dark mode. I used to love dark mode with all my heart. And then I became an adult. <laughs> and my tastes changed. They changed. Like, yes, I'm horrifying. I'm terrifying because I use light mode on everything. Including Discord. Ha <laughs> ha. I use light mode on Discord. And not just during the day. I use light mode at night. Just the way it burns my retinas. Come to think of it, there's not, there's not much he can do that wouldn't be dangerous in that kind of scenario. Guess I'll just try my luck. Hey, Keiko, I'm going to ask you to chop the vegetables while I work on the meat, okay? See, I used to have Streamlabs in dark mode. Same with Premiere Pro. I used to have that in dark mode. And then I discovered how to get light mode on there. And I'm just like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I've been using light mode for about a year now. Uh, okay. I take the ingredients I need out of the fridge and hand them to Kekun along with a knife. I set aside the spices I'm going to use on the meat once I've finished cubing it. You can enjoy your dark mode. Honestly, I hold nothing against people who use dark mode. I have nothing against them. Because all my friends use dark mode. Except, like, one. Except, like, one friend. The rest of them use dark mode. And even then, I think he still uses dark mode. I don't know. I just prefer light mode. It, it's just It's a personal preference. I said it's, uh, it doesn't exactly take long, but I try to make sure all my cuts are evenly sized so things can cook uniformly. Like, okay, 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 okay. 
if it if it if it makes you all feel better if it makes you all feel better there is one program that i use that i have in dark mode there is one program that i use in dark mode and that is obs like i'm not using obs right now I'm not using OBS right now. I'm using Streamlabs right now, and I have that in light mode. But no, OBS I keep in dark mode because I rarely use it. It didn't exactly take long, but I try to make sure all my cuts are evenly sized so things can cook uniformly. Then... What are you doing? I turn around and see incredibly mismatched pieces of vegetables being cut and tossed into a bowl. They hadn't been washed beforehand. Or peeled. In fact, I see a few pieces of carrot that still have bumps on their outside because they haven't been touched. I'm slicing vegetables, like you asked. What? You just went right into slicing? What about washing? Or peeling? And why are they all different sizes? I mean, the vegetables themselves are all different sizes, too, so what's the problem? I, I can't. I can't! Ah! Uh, case gay! As, as someone who was like known how to cook for a couple years now as someone who's known how to cook for a couple years now and i feel like can actually cook cook at least enough to keep myself alive that hurt my heart that genuinely hurt my heart i can't believe i actually just heard those words coming out of his mouth just trade places with me okay i'll handle the vegetables <laughs> You can work on sautéing the meat. I already set the spices aside, too. S sautéing? Uh, okay. I try to salvage what I can from Kaquin's hack job at prepping the vegetables. I guess he has no knife skills to speak of, huh? As I'm focusing on my work washing, peeling, and dicing all the veg veggies, making sure to keep them uniform in size, a strange smell hits my nose. That's when I realize I hear popping, followed by a squeal. I turned to look just in time to shut off the fire on the stove as salt was flying everywhere. What the f- Keisuke, get the hell out of the kit! Fuck, I just- I slapped my pop filter. Ah! Keisuke, get the fuck out of the kitchen! I turned to look just in time to shut off the fire as it, on the stove as salt was flying everywhere. What the- why is there a mountain of salt covering the meat? I was doing like you asked me. I was sautéing. What the hell do you think sautéing means? It comes from the English word salt, right? I can't! I fucking can't! I can't! I, I can't with him! Uh, that is not at all true! Okay, let me check my phone, because I want to make sure I didn't crack the screen. I did not crack the screen, hell yeah! He is still learning. K has a rich person. <laughs> it, it comes from the English word salt, right? <laughs> the eyes, the eyes, just the eyes. Y'all are gonna see the eyes. Just the eyes. <laughs> Yuichi's got that stare. Kaikun? Yeah? You have no idea how to cook, do you? No. Uh, sorry. In retrospect, I should have seen that coming. The guy was raised in a giant house with servants doing everything for him. Of course he wouldn't know how to do household chores. It's fine. It's my fault for assuming, for just assuming you could. 
<laughs> right? Although you could have just said you didn't know how to in the first place. Who are you, Shoichi? I'll just do this myself. You don't have to worry about it. But... But I want to be useful. You don't have to do something you have no interest in. It's fine. I never said I have no interest in it. I just never learned how. Can't you teach me? <laughs> that light skin stares back. What's with that look? Fine, I'll teach you. But if you don't know how to do something, you better tell me. If I see you screwing up because you didn't want to say anything, I'm going to be pissed. C got it. While I wouldn't go so far as to say that things have been going smoothly, Keikun is much better at following directions than I thought he'd be. I thought for sure I, that I was going to end up with another Shoichi in my hands, but he seems to possess the better part of common sense. For the most part, at least. And this stuff is really tiring to do. But isn't it fun? I'm not sure. I'm glad we started cooking really early because I easily took twice the time I normally would trying to teach him how to cook. Even if the recipe was pretty simple, it still took quite a bit f quite a bit for me to teach him how to do basic things. But then again, for someone that has no experience cooking and was used to being served his whole life, a Keikun is actually surprisingly competent. We're just adding finishing touches here at this point. Uh, by this point. Uh, so there's not much more room for error here. By the way, how spicy do you like your curry? I'm not super fond of spicy food, so we usually have it mild, but I can add a bit of pepper to it if you'd like. N no, it's fine. Don't let me trouble you any further. Any further? How exactly are you troubling me? You're already cooking for me, and then I messed up a bunch of stuff, and you had to teach me how to cook. I call that fun, not trouble. Seriously? Yep, I had fun teaching you. Besides, seeing you be so inept at something was kind of cute. Most of the time, I only see you doing things that you're really good at, so it's hard to remember that you're also a person with flaws. So far, I just... So far, I just thought most of them were personality flaws, though. Well, food should be ready now. Why don't you set the table while I call Aki? I trust you know how to set a table, right? Of course I know how to set a table. I'm not that stupid. Aki is still sitting on the couch, lazily tapping away at his phone. Hang on, I want to read that now. I want, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this. Alright. I'll admit Shoichi is a bad cook cook but Keikun is a goddamn baby leave him me something like that i don't know probably still talking to hitoka after all this time too lunch is ready still chatting with hitoka chan yeah she's really bored at school since most of her friends didn't get there before the storm hit and they're not allowed to go out maybe i should message sai chan and shoichi to make sure they're okay i can't imagine june having gotten there before the storm hit but i should probably message him just to be safe can you go wake mom up while i finish getting things ready downstairs Sure, I'm surprised she hasn't woken up sooner with the storm going on outside. She works really hard. I'm not surprised she'd just pass out once she went to bed. True. Aki walks off to go check up on her, leaving me alone in the living room. I look over at the kitchen and see Keikun setting the table without any issues, so I decide to pull out my phone for a bit. I decide to send messages to my other friends to make sure everything is okay. Well, at least if they're all trapped in the school during the storm, they'll have each other for company. Oh wow, I'm already getting messages from all three of them. Things are okay over here. A lot of certain council members got here early, so we made a run for the building. Only fell once, but I'm fine. Be careful, you idiot. I'm not an idiot. Don't be rude. Seriously? Even in the middle of a storm, do these guys have no sense of self-preservation at all? What are you, a lemming? Hang out with Junkun. Storm started a few minutes bef before we arrived. Lucky, lucky for him, he was all wet, though. In what world is that lucky? I don't know. Could be worse. Could have gotten stuck in the rain. Haha. <laughs> That is so not funny. Oh, and I've got one from June as well. Yuichi sa! I got wet! It's so cold! I don't like my underwear clinging to me! That's, um, I'm sorry. Thanks! Poor June. I'm gonna love going through his route. I'm gonna love going through his route. That's a mental picture I wish I didn't have in my mind. So, I'm glad to see they're all okay. Um, despite a few mishaps. Iwichi-san, I finished setting the table. Oh, thanks. Aki should be down in a bit. Let's just wait until him and my mom arrive so we can start eating. Sure. Almost 12 hours later, the rain finally dies down. Luckily, there weren't any other issues with thunder or anything of the like. 
It turned out that the thunderstorm had somehow turned into a typhoon halfway through, so that explained the lack of thunder and lightning. Let me get rid of uh, the eye bleach. Because I just remember that it's still there. The Purity Boys. We're going to have to modify the Purity Boys. I'm going to have to modify the Purity Boys and add a couple more. Still, we don't have much to do to pass the to pass time for that time. Aki, Keikun, and I ended up playing card games the whole day. Add Apollo. Yeah, Apollo is pretty cute. Well, I wouldn't call that a boring thing to do. It didn't. It doesn't exactly rank up in my list of desired activities. Mom was so tired that she just took a plate with her upstairs. She barely even noticed Keikun either. It was pretty funny to see him all shocked because she didn't even register his presence. It was already late at night when Keikun called a driver to take him back home. I'm scared. I'm scared to start June's route, but I also want to so bad. Still, overall, I can say that I really enjoyed this day. May 26th, Friday, day 17. Ah! The weather today is truly wonderful. In stark contrast to that ridiculous typhoon that came out of nowhere a couple days ago, today things are sunny and cool. The sky is blue with just a few clouds lazily passing by. Thankfully, the streets aren't jam-packed with people at this time. I came here right after class at someone else's insistence. That someone was, of course, Keisuke. Even Alex has joined us again today, too. It's funny, I've known Keikun for over a year and never met the guy, but now I feel like I'm seeing him every week. Not that I'm complaining, but would you mind telling me what you called me over for now? I was called over by an acquaintance of mine. He said he wanted to talk to me about something in the shop he owns. You're friends with a shop owner? That's pretty impressive. Actually, I think I should refer to him as my father's friend instead. That one is more factually correct. It's still impressive. The man used to be Keisuke's guitar teacher for a few years. Oh, so he probably owns a music store then. And no, he's a guitar teacher that owns a gun shop. Wait, seriously? And no, you get- I was being sarcastic. Of course he owns a music store! Oh, ow. You didn't need to be so mean. You were basically asking for it. Hey! The two choose to ignore my grumbling, leaving me following behind them unhappily. Do you have any idea what it is that he wants, Keisuke? Nope, not a clue. I'm hoping he just wants to catch up. He did say he wanted us to keep in touch the last time I visited. Did he by any chance do anything untoward with you? You know he always does, Alex. But that doesn't mean I want you to murder him. Not even a little? Mm, maybe later. Understood. I don't get if that was supposed to be a joke. Someone please say, Haha, just kidding, or something like that! Okay, fine. I understand why you're coming here, but I still don't see why I was called. I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to go out with you. Is that so bad? I didn't say that. If you don't want to be here, then you can go home. I didn't say that either. Well, it's not every day that I have the chance to check out a music store, so I'll stick around. Good boy. No, nah, no. Nah. I use my sleeves like a man. <laughs> like a... Like a manly man. It's hilarious because out of all my brothers, I'm the least manly out of all of them. Did he just say good boy? Unironically? The fuck? Just as soon as we walk into the store, we see a green lizard man standing behind the counter and talking to a few customers. Kaken makes a beeline towards him and the lizard notices our approach halfway through it. He opens a wide smile and waves at us as soon as he finishes dealing with his customer. Well, well, if it isn't K-Chan and Little Alexander, thank you for coming by on such short notice. Did I just get totally ignored? I can't believe the first words I say as soon as I meet you are going to be these, but don't call me K-Chan. It's good to see you too, dear. Ugh, don't call me that either. The lizard turns to look at the towering wolf, having to look up to meet Alexander's eyes. Good to see you too, Alexander. Still looking as sharp as ever, I see. Hello, Kiyoshi. I wish I could say the same, but your shirt is crinkled and popping out of your pants. Kyoshi looks down, noticing the mess that is his clothing. Smiling, he readjusts them. Oops, sorry about that. Two of my staff called in sick today, so I was loading stock into the shelves myself. Got a little sloppy. That is a shame. The one good thing about you is how neat you usually are. What do you mean, one good thing? I have tons of good things! The last time I was here, he got polish all over my shirt. He said he was. I said he was neat, not that he was clean. 
Hey, I am clean. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Well, it's clear that these three are already plenty familiar with each other just from the, their way of speaking. Although, I can't shake off the nagging feeling that I'm being forgotten about here. The guy didn't even acknowledge me when we showed up. So, Kiyoshi-san, what was it that you called me over for? Oh, it wasn't anything too important. Why don't we catch up first? Oh, what have you... Kiyoshi-san. Keikun speaks sternly, cutting the lizard off mid-sentence. For his part, Kiyoshi pouts at the hare's attitude. Geez, not an ounce of love for good old Uncle Kiyoshi here. I see how it is. And would you stop with the dramatics? Three of us know that if we played along with your antics, we'd be stuck here for the rest of the day. Three of us? Is even Keikun forgetting to count me here? Someone please notice that I exist! Oh, ouch, you wound me, Keichan boy. Although, let's be honest, would that really be so bad? Yes, it would. You wouldn't be able to tend to your shop, and I wouldn't be able to do all the other things I need to do with my day. Yes, Keisuke is quite busy, as you know. Kiyoshi-san crosses his arms, looking between the two with a raised eyebrow and a smug smile. Ah, yes, indeed. So busy that he was able to show up here after I called him up totally out of the blue. Keikun and Alex look at each other. I swear, people keep calling me out on that, and I never have an answer to it. That's because you keep pretending to be super busy when you're really not. What? Yuichi-san! Why, hello there. I was wondering when you were going to speak up. You totally forgot I was here, didn't you, Keikun? N no I was just distracted. Sure. I was actually wondering if this friend of yours was a mute since he didn't even respond to my greeting. Your greeting didn't even include me. I was totally ignored. Details, details. You shouldn't set the small stuff so much. This guy really is the annoying type, isn't he? Iwichi-san, he goes without saying, but don't pay much attention to him. Kiyoshi-san loves getting under people's skin. I noticed. What? I would never! I am nothing more than a gifted conversationalist who enjoys chatting with my good, good fellows. Kiyoshi. Yes, my little Alexander dear. You're annoying. Wow. I never thought I'd see Alex of all people calling someone annoying so bluntly. If that guy can get under even Alex's skin, then he really has a talent for it after all. Kyoshi-san pouts, suddenly looking very sour. Jeez, you come all the way to a guy's humble little shop just to hurt his feelings and hurt them you do with this mastery. So mean. Kyoshi-san, could you please act your own age? You're not a child anymore. How rude. Well, I have to admit that this back and forth is pretty amusing. Constantly switching between these three is starting to make my neck hurt. Um, can we get back on track here? You called Keisuke over for something. Yeah, right. Thanks for reminding me, Uchi-san. Oh, and here I thought I was doing a good job of distracting everyone. Quick, look, a three-headed monkey! Start telling me why you called us over right now or I'm walking out. Sheesh, no sense of humor. I think you have way too much humor for your own good. The lizard sighs, closing his eye and rubbing the bridge of his nose for a few seconds. I think this is the first time I ever saw him looking anything other than peppy and cheerful. Well, if it's just that, I heard you joined the band and that you guys were even going to be playing at your school's festival. I wanted to congratulate you on that. Keikun's face immediately loses any and all traces of humor. The hare stares at the older man with a sharp, unfriendly look on his face. It's enough to make me get chills. Who told you that? Kyoshi-san smiles, completely ignoring Keisuke's death glare. Oh, you know exactly who told me. It was a good old pop. Who else would it be? Also, do you really have to look at me like that? It's a bit disturbing. K Alex puts a hand on Keikun's shoulder, giving him what looked to be a gentle squeeze. Calm yourself, Keisuke. You don't even know what happened yet. There's no point in getting angry. Yeah, that's right, Keichan boy. You really shouldn't get angry so easily. If you frown so much, your skin's gonna get all wrinkly. Kiyoshi-san, can you please stop horsing around? Lizard's eyes open wide and he looks down at himself in a panic. Horse? Oh my god, I thought it was a lizard! Did something happen to me? Kiyoshi-san! Kiyoshi breaks his little act, chuckling to himself and giving Keikun multiple pats on the back. Come on, you need something to relax, kiddo. You're too tense. Has something actually been stressing you out lately? I swear, it's like watching a child cluelessly poke at a, poking a hornet's nest. Deliberately. With a stick. On fire. Can you just tell me what the hell did my father tell you? Well, there was a lot. About me! God, watching these two talk is both hilarious and frustrating. Even Alex is covering his face with his hand, slowly shaking his head sideways. I guess their ridiculous conversation is too much even for the ever-serious wolf. Oh, about you? Gosh, why didn't you say something from the start? You can't blame a fella for getting confused if you're always this ambiguous. Kiyoshi-san, I am five seconds away from telling Alex to hit you. For the first time, the look on the lizard's face falters. He looks up at the wolf with bulging eyes and a wide open mouth, blinking much more rapidly than normal. Alex, for his part, does nothing more than cross his arms and raise an eyebrow. For him, that's already enough to look menacing. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. No need to sick the dogs on me. Then stop being so annoying. She's not an ounce of humor in this boy. 
Blizzard grumbles uselessly to himself, crossing his arms and staring down at his feet. Well, let's see. Your good old dad told me recently that you'd gone, that you'd done, done gone and joined a school band. He even told me that you fellers were going to perform in your school festival. Major kudos for that, by the way. Of course, you know how your dad is. He asked me to give you my expert's opinion, which is a nice way of saying that I was supposed to put you down and convince you to quit. And are you? Blizzard makes an open gesture with his hands, almost as if he were about to hug Kaikun then and there. His facial expression shifts once again. All the seriousness from before vanishes without a trace, leaving him with a beaming smile. Cripes, no! I told him to shove it and let you do whatever you want. In fact, I'm really proud of you, kid. I've been hoping you'd do something like this for the longest time. What? Kaikun seems incapable of comprehending the words that were just spoken, standing rooted to a spot in a daze, mouth hanging open, eyes bulging. The first one to break the silence is Alex, who smiles just the tiniest bit before speaking. <laughs> Guess you're not so bad after all, Kiyoshi. Blizzard furrows a brow, confused. Not so bad? Since when have I been any kind of bad? I thought I was great. Don't push it. Sorry. I have no idea what is going on anymore. So, you're not going to try and get me to quit? Nah, don't be ridiculous. I'm actually going to show up for your festival. I want to see what this band that managed to enrapture you was like. It's not every day I get to see my K-Chan boy coming out of a shell. Um, I feel like I need to point this out, but Kaikun isn't playing. The smile on Kyoshi's face suddenly vanishes. What do you mean he ain't playing? Well, well I'm just a manager. What? <laughs> what? Kyoshi-san, you're too loud. What do you mean you're just a manager? You're telling me I stuck up for you when you're just a glorified instrument polisher? And that's not all I do. I help them with tuning. I oversee their rehearsals. I don't give a monkey's ass. Why the hell did you join a band to be a manager? I asked him pretty much the same thing, too. Although with nicer words. Come on, you guys are being too unreasonable. There's nothing wrong with being a manager. There's everything wrong with being a manager. What was even the point with that? You're a phenomenal singer and a really good guitarist. Why are you settling for a managerial role? And not everyone has the courage to go out and perform. They asked him to stand for their vocalist during rehearsal one day, and he choked. What? I didn't choke. I managed to sing. Also, shut up. The lizard sighs, awkwardly scratching the back of his neck. Damn! This is such a waste of good talent. Be quiet. I enjoy being a manager, and you can't make me feel bad about it. What am I going to do with you? Kiyoshi, that's enough already. Alex cuts into the conversation, sternly telling the older lizard to back off. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And here I was all excited about this, too. Oh, why are you the one getting excited about it? It has nothing to do with you. Hey, when something cool happens to my K-Chan boy, I have a right to get excited. Will you please stop calling me that already? Nope. I hate you. No, you don't. I'm surprised KSK hasn't already strangled this guy by now. Alright, great. You've said your piece. Can I go now? Oh, is that all I am to do? Just a few... Just say a few words and then leave? I thought we had something special. At this point, I don't think K-Kun has any fight left in him. He looks so... Defeated. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss, or can I leave? Well, I was going to give you a present for joining your first bound. Bam, but now that I know you're just a manager, I don't know if I should. A present? His ears perk up as soon as he hears the word present being said. And knowing you, it would probably be a gag gift, wouldn't it? Kyoshi-san chuckles. Well, that definitely sounds like something I would do. That wasn't the idea. It's not something that would explode or pop out of a box, is it? I just said it's not a gag gift. I don't believe that for a second. Here, hang on for a second. Kyoshi-san dives behind the counter, disappearing out of our view. Keikun leans against the wood and glass counter, trying, peering, trying to see behind it. When he resurfaces, he's holding an old, dusty-looking red acoustic guitar. Here you go. He hands it to Keikun, who looks down at it hesitantly. Your present to me is your trash. The lizard huffs and pouts, placing the guitar delicately on top of the counter and wiping some of the dust off of it with his hand. Hey, I'll admit it's seen better days, but this ain't trash. It's not super priced or anything, but this here is the first guitar I ever owned. What? Kyoshi saw nods, proudly puffing his chest. Yeppers, this here is the first guitar I ever bought when I decided I wanted to learn music. This was from way before I ever met your father. My dad was always strict and was always very strict and said if we wanted to buy things, we needed to work for it ourselves. I was originally going to buy a ba really basic model, but when I first laid eyes on this beauty, it was love at first sight. It took me over six months of part-time work to buy it, and I still have it to this day. I realized that even if I still do love it and i don't have the time or energy to give it the care it deserves so i thought it'd be best to pass it on to someone i know would take good care of it oh wow kiyoshi-san I, I don't know i don't think i'd be able to do that nonsense i've seen how you treat your guitar that thing is always polished to a shine and always handled with care not even i ever treated with my instruments that well i'm sure this baby here will be in great hands but but 
Isn't it important to you? It sure is one of my most prized possessions. It's exactly why I can't stand to see it wither it away in an old display closet anymore. It's time I passed it on to someone else. He turns his head away, and I'm pretty sure I even catch a glimpse of a blush as the lizard rubs the back of his neck. And, well, call me sentimental, but I'm pretty sure the guitar itself would love to be with someone that would actually play it. I know acoustic ain't really your style, but I just thought, I'll take good care of it, Kyoshi-san. Kyoshi-san's face immediately lights up as he lifts the guitar and hands it to Keikun. I know you will, kid. And thanks. It's not easy for me to let this baby go, but I know it's for the best. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Just let me grab a case for it from the stock. The one I had with it is way too damaged for me to give it to you in good conscience. Sure, just as long as you let me pay for it. Don't be ridiculous. It's a gift. And knowing you, you'd probably pick out the most expensive case you have in the store. I'm the one who can't accept that in good conscience. Heh, <laughs> guess you know me a little better than I thought. We're gonna leave off here tonight. Yes. Anyways, stay safe, have a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow.